how were the green comp competence areas identified and categorized? The green comp framework was developed through um, several steps that started uh, in the second mid part of um, 2020 and ended with the publication in January 2022. So during these um, research steps, um, a literature review was involved, scoping uh, um, research was involved, but it, they were also hosting um, the, some workshops around it in order to validate uh, with experts. So at the end of this process, then we ended up with what is known as the generally known as the Green Comp Framework. And um, it consists of four competence areas that correspond to, in general, to the definition of sustainability and sustainability competencies, which is what the, uh, comp this competence framework is actually referring to. So in particular, the four competence areas that this the Green Comp framework is talking about are embodied, embodying sustainability values, embracing complexity and sustainability, envisioning sustainable futures, and acting for sustainability. Each one of these competence areas is then composed of three competencies with a total amount of competencies that are 12 competencies all of which are important and not, not like one is more important than another. They are also interrelated and interconnected. This means basically that you can't develop one competence without disregarding in a way other competences. It is also important to mention that each competence has been defined. So there is an official definition of each competence and it has break down, broken down into three elements which are knowledge, skills and attitudes. Each of these elements is of course defined uh, in the report at the end in Annex 2 of the report uh, where you can find all the statements related to knowledge, skills and attitude of each competence. I would, in order to like understand more what the framework, the, comp the competencies and the framework are um, talking about, I would recommend to go on the GreenCon community because in our activities, one of the first needs, as we, we were mentioning before, it was to learn about what actually the competence framework was about. So we established a kind of a learning path composed of uh, interviews with the authors, gatherings in the community, and in, it ended up in a way to with the delivery of a final product from the community, which is the digital version of the GreenCom framework. The added value of this resource is mainly the additional resources, so it's not just taking back the report and putting it online because the, the full report is already exists, but the additional value is really to put additional links, additional resources, and the delivery of a podcast series that is actually basically all the interviews, gathering all the interviews with the authors related to comp each competence areas and the competences.